Good evening, everybody. My name is Laura Calabrese, and I'm the language arts supervisor for the district for K-5. I'm thrilled to be here tonight at the Avenel Performing Arts Center to share in an evening with young poets, with your young readers. To stand in front of a crowd and to read something that you've written is a daunting task. We know how hard it can be to get from what's in our head onto a piece of paper, and these young students did it in a very creative manner. I'd like to take a moment to say a few thank yous to our Board of Education and our Central Administration for always supporting our endeavors with our young learners. Mayor McCormick, who's here tonight with us, he's gonna sh uh, share a few words in just a few moments. But I wanted to thank the teachers and principals who unfortunately are not able to attend, but many of them are watching via our live stream. I also wanna take a moment to thank you, the parents and family members who are always supporting our students, and this is the wonderful production of what we have for tonight. So, boys and girls, I'm gonna turn the show over to you in just a few moments, okay? Um, I just wanted to send a few reminders. Please, um, no flash photography. If you are, want to record while your child is reading, that's fine, but we'll have plenty of opportunities at the end of the night to take photos. Uh, Mayor McCormick? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is our new Avenel Performing Arts Center. It opened up two years and four days ago, April 10th of 2019. It was doing really good heading into uh, last winter, and then of course March came and everything fell apart, and we didn't get closed for a long time. The restaurant was closed, we're just catching up now. But we're proud to host events like this for our kids. Um, Lori is right. If this was at the Baron Arts Center, your kids' teachers would be here, and I guarantee your kids' principals would be here because they are so supportive of the students. Right now, there's two kids per school. Most schools have between three and 500 kids, and the principals would be here just for those two kids. That's how dedicated they are. So I want to well, congratulate all of you. It is, as Ms. Calvary said, it is very difficult to take what's up here and put it on paper. You can write for a lot of reasons. You can write to educate people, you can write to inform people, or you can write to entertain people. And what you're doing tonight is entertaining people. And you have written poetry to do just that. So if you are selected from all the kids in your school, there's only two of you here in the whole school. That means you're really good at writing poetry. And I know you're going to be really good at reading poetry. So congratulations. I also want to thank Ms. Calabrese for our leadership of the language arts curriculum. And we just have our deputy superintendent of schools, Mr. John Gator, came in. He usually speaks at the end of the event. And I can't say I have a couple other things I have to get to, but I really want to be here just to say thank you for coming out. I want to thank your parents for bringing you here. And I hope you have a great night and good luck. Thank you. My name is Milika Singh, and I am in grade five and from school Link Christ 22. This is my first poem, Anxiety by Milika Singh. Evil lurking in the shadows, casting unwanted butterflies into your stomach, always there when you're up to present a poster to your class, making your palms clammy, keeping you up all night before a big soccer game, distracting you like a song stuck in your head when, when you're trying to study for a big test, always by your side like an unsupportive family member, constantly pushing you down. Thank you. My second poem, Inside My Head by Melika Singh. A quiet face with a calm mind, showing the storm with fog inside, Loud but quiet at the same time. Lightning strikes, memories gone, all inside, hidden and lost. Pouring rain mixed with chaos, a worried face with an unsteady mind. Thank you. Hi. 
Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? My name is Nolan Zahodnik. I'm in grade three and I'm from Oak Ridge Heights. My first poem is Parrots. Colorful feathers, tropical rainforest bird, squawking in the trees. Fear. Fear is black like an empty hole. It tastes like rotten eggs deep in my smoke. It smells like it smells and lingers like a burning fire. Fear looks like things are hanging on by a wire. It sounds like sirens in the night. Fear feels worse than a venomous snake bite. My name is Brinley Smith. I'm from Lingcrest School and I'm in grade two. My first poem is called A Rainbow. A rainbow is as red as a fire truck, is as orange as an orange, is as yellow as the sun, is as green as a frog, is as blue as a blueberry, and is as purple as grapes. My second poem is called Spring. S stands for sunny. P stands for play outside, R stands for ride a hoverboard, I stands for ice cream, N stands for no more snow, and G stands for gymnastics. Good evening, my name is Kashri Khanna and today I'm going to represent my two poems. I'm in Oak Tree Road School and I'm first in first grade. Dear Mother, I love you. Dear Mother, dear Mother, I owe my everything to you. Mom, from the days you helped me, from my first scribble to my writing, writing journal, from my Lego Duplo to Lego Friends, it's your love, patience, and love. You care and support me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Every kid dreamed of a mother like you. I owe my everything to you. I love you. I love you. Dear mother, I love you. Now my second poem is Virtual School. Virtual school, virtual school. I miss my old school. I miss my teachers. I miss my friends. I want to meet them in person. I wish I can go to my school. I wish I can play with my friends. Virtual school, virtual school. I want to say to you bye-bye. I want to learn with my teachers, but nearby. See you soon, my old school, virtual school, virtual school. Hi, my name is Eliana, and good greetings. I have slimy skin, I am blue, I have zero legs, I live in the ocean, I am a carnivore. What am I? I am a whale. My next poem is about vinegar chip. I see the color orange, I smell vinegar, I hear crunch, I feel hard and rough, I taste sour, what could I be? It's a vinegar chip.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Jessica Srivastava, and I'm in grade four. I study in Oak Tree Road School number 29. Today, I will present to you two of my poems. The first one is called Like A. Like a hawk lays donut on an ice cold day, like springtime showers in the month of May, like a single snowflake landing on your skin, like sitting at a campfire with cousin and kin, like an ice cream sandwich on a sun hot day, like springtime showers in the month of May, like many fireflies lighting things up, like sitting on your couch with a coffee cup. My second poem is called, My Best Friend. Roses are red, the sky is blue, a cupcake is the best, just like you. Friends like you are so hard to find, you're so humble, loving, and kind. I am so lucky to have a friend like you, I never want to lose a friend so true. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Arushi, and I'm in grade two, and I'm in Woodbine Avenue School 23, and this is my acrostic poem. A for artistic, A for awesome, R for rad, U for upbeat, S for shy, H for honest, I for imaginative, My second poem is called My Rainbow Poem. Red lava rising, orange clownfish swimming, yellow lemon squeezing, green snakes biting, blue beach waves waving, indigo grapes crunching, purple shirt wrinkling. Good evening. Today I am going to read poem on funny faces and pot of gold. Funny faces. I love to make funny faces. Pot of gold. If I had a pot of gold, I would buy a home. An enormous and beautiful and a fantastic home. Thank you. My name is Matthew Alves, and I'll be reading my poems. I go to Robert Mersenic School, and I'm in grade two. My first poem is about Kogema. Multiplayer games, play online worldwide with friends, Kogema is fun. My second poem is called Blue. Blue looks like the beautiful sky on a hot summer day. 
Blue sounds like the ocean waves. Blue smells like a sweet blueberry Tic Tac melting in my mouth. Blue tastes like fresh blueberries dancing in my mouth. Blue feels like stretchy slime in my hands. My last poem is about my name, Matthew. Make slime for fun. Apples are my favorite fruit. Talk with my friends on Zoom. Teach my grandparents to use the computer. Hug my family. Enjoy playing with friends. Want to be a scientist. My name is Meadow Winters, and I have a foot poem about Great Wolf Lodge. When I woke up, I was excited. In a few hours, it'd be time to go. I packed up all my bags, and it was pouring down snow. Although it was cold, we couldn't wait to swim. Our friends came with us, and I had a big grin. We finally made it to our special place. We unpacked our stuff, got our tubes, and began to race. At first, I was scared to try the orange slide. It was big and scary looking, but I still tried. Then at the end, I started to love it. I didn't want to go. But when I looked outside, it was starting to pour snow. We were sad to leave there, but Dad said we could come back. I hope this summer comes up fast because Great Wolf Lodge is a blast. Hi, I am Fernando from Matthew Jago School. Grade four. First poem, Lander. If I was a lander, I live in the rainforest where they have many trees and water. I eat steak, chicken, and bamboo. I look like a black and white tiger with panda ears, feeling like soft fur. I'd sound like a cute roar. Second poem, Santa Claus. Red, white, jolly. Flying, eating, checking. Santa Claus is the one and only Christmas legend, Saint Nick. Good evening, everybody. My name is Sophia De Silva, and I am from Oak Ridge Heights, first grade. I will be reading two poems today. My first poem is called Colors. If there was no color, just black and white, everything will be dull. We need everything full like the colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, green, purple are just a few. So much more will do. With a little bit of color, everything will be just right. If we show our color far and true, we will be better just with me and you. My second poem is called My Adventure. My adventures grow and grow. Will they stop? No one knows. Adventures are a part of me. I don't want them to flee. If they do, I'll find some more. My adventures will grow more and more. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joseph Egbu. I am from Lafayette Estate School 25, and my first poem is called Molly Pitcher. There was a barber named William Hayes who wanted to join the army. He had a wife who wanted to fight. Her legendary nickname was Molly. They traveled through snow to fight their foes. Some soldiers got sick and died. General George begged and whined 
for a lot of food and supplies. But soon enough, they got their luck. They found their enemies beyond the horizon. Soon enough, some soldiers experienced heat stroke and dehydration. Molly Pitcher saved the day by serving both water and justice. She fired cannons, saved her husband, and George honored her for her braveness. Molly Pitcher was really a legendary heroine who everybody loved. This can teach us a lesson that anyone can do what she's done. My second poem is, is also about the color blue. Blue is the sound of blue jays soaring and tweeting through the light summer sky, coming home to their nests. Blue is the sm smell of fresh dark blueberries, round and plump, ready to be picked. Blue is the taste of hard candies, sweet and crunchy. Blue is the sight of oceans smashing through rocks and glaciers as ponds stay very still, sharing, staring at the shimmering sun. Blue is the feel of radiant, heart-shaped diamonds sparkling and reflecting off the bright light. I'm Hi everyone, my name is Samhita Shira. I'm in Lafada State School 25, grade two. I have two acrostic poems, one called Soldier that I wrote for Veterans Day, one called Brotherhood that I wrote for Dr. Martin Luther King's Day. I wrote I let me start with my brotherhood poem that I wrote for Dr. Martin Luther King's Day. B, be kind to others. R, respect everyone. O, on his birthday, remember Dr. Martin Luther King. T, treating others well. H, helping my friends. E, equal rights for black people. R, right is do something right for people. H, hard to be brave. O, one day he got a Nobel Prize. O, others have to be treated nicely. D, do good things for others. My second poem is called Soldier that I wrote for Veterans Day. S, safe keepers. O, on land, air, and water. L, let's remember veterans. D, do love America. I, I am thankful. E and R, everyone should show respect to them. Thank you for listening today to my poems. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sathony Kirby. I'm in the third grade at Robert Massonic School, number 26. Springtime. Beautifully growing gardens. Birds nesting in the trees. Colors of the rainbow. Hear the sound of buzzing bees. Children playing tag. The sun shining bright and high. Smell fresh flowers, see animals running by. Raindrops on the daisies, no more snow on the ground. Bringing light to new animal babies, also sweet music all around. My second poem is Springtime in New Jersey. Is springtime in New Jersey dawning? I think maybe in the morning. But the groundhog's on his shadow. I guess not tomorrow. There's a snowstorm warning. Good evening, everybody. My good evening, everybody. My name's Sionica Raj. I come from school 27, Colonia. I'm going to be saying two poems. One is about the beach, the other is about the, my puppy. The beach is sandy, looking beautiful and dandy. With the color of navy, the beach looks wavy. I breathe the fresh air and enjoy the breeze in my hair. I miss the beach and what it can teach. 
The next one's about the puppy. My puppy will always know when, how I feel. When I'm sad or happy, he will always be around my heel. If my parents give me one, it will be a big deal. Great job, everybody. I'm sure that you're very, very proud of your child as they stood up in front of a large crowd and were able to read their own writing. I do have one student who was um, unable to attend tonight, so I wanted to read her poems on her behalf. Um, her name is Molly Patel from school number 23. Her first poem is The Sky, a vast map of clouds, color changing scenery, fascinating sky. Her second poem is entitled Balloons. They're round and puffy, filled with air, always in sight everywhere. Orange, pink, yellow, and green, so many colors in which they can be seen. Swiftly sailing to the sky, whirling in the wind, they perform a magnificent show, sure to make me grin. Shaped like cars, hearts, stars, and maybe even poodles, these colorful things are precious jewels. Floating and popping, they bring fun around, spreading cheerfulness and joy, not knowing any bounds. Before we conclude, I'd like to invite up Mr. Bader. He's our assistant superintendent. He has a few words for us tonight. Outside. And how about one more round of 